Good evening, good morning, good afternoon from outside Nigeria, whatever the time is. Um, this is the second session 2D of uh, Legal Studies program. We have within this panel, I'm going to be the chair for today. My name is uh, Onadi Ujo. I work at University of Lagos. I work in the library, University of Lagos Library. Um, for the next couple of minutes, we're supposed to start by 5.30 to 7 p.m. And uh, for each uh, presenter, I'm going to have 20 minutes. We just have three members of presenters. The first person to present is Eze Yunis. And Nene, I don't know whether it's in the house. I can only see Alice. But Mikbola from Vast of Ibadan. We are still expecting Olubu and Gadiwi and Philomena, Bemi, Ogunleye. Those are the three presenters that we have on this evening session. We we'll wait for some minutes. Let's see about by 535 if they have not we haven't seen any of them i will call them and if you can make it to be first confessors we won't follow the program again because somebody had been here even before the time so i will give preference for alice bangbola i, I hope i pronounce this very well <laughs> Bamigbola, that's the Bamigbola. correct Bamigbola, okay, Bam. okay, okay. Bamigbola. Bamigbola, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. So, at exactly 5.35, if the first presenter has not shown, I will ask you to commence now. You have your slide? I go to you PowerPoint. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm using PowerPoint. Okay, okay. Units and then, if you are in the house or you are somewhere, you are supposed to present toward the actualization of SDG 16 collaboration between archives and other information agencies in Nigeria. Are you in the house? We are also expecting uh, Olubenga Adewi and Phenomena Bimu They are supposed to present. Motivation, mentoring, and achievement in Lagos State public libraries. If you're in the house, or maybe you are having network problem, let us know. But when I look at the, yeah, we are three now. I think the host that number three, the, the host, LSA conference host, they are the one. I've not seen any of them. I hope they are preparing. It's supposed to be. I've just attended one session now. Why a colleague of mine also presented? All the panelists were there. So let's see that they will join us very soon. And if they don't all up the next one minute, I've given them five minutes of grace because this session is supposed to start by 5 30. I will call on Alice Bamibola of University of Ibadan, who will give us library maker space a platform for STEM integration. I welcome you, man. 
Thank you very much, sir. Yes. Uh, I said good evening, everyone. Let me share my screen. Yeah, you can do that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I've seen it. All right. Thank you very much, sir. I told you uh, 20, minutes, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. You are going to give us. All right, sir. Yeah. Tell us a brief about you, your profile, a brief profile about you. Outside your outside your time. Just give us a brief profile about who is Mrs. Uh or I, I don't want to change Mrs. Alice Bamigola. So that I don't have power with your Okay. Okay. This is Dr. Alice Bamigola. Okay. I work in the University of Ibadan in the Department of School Library and Media Technology. And um, my presentation this evening is titled Library Makerspace, a platform for STEM. And uh, we are going to look, we are going to look at a uh, few things what STEM is not, what is STEM, evolution of STEM globally, STEM in Nigeria, why STEM? Makerspace for STEM, roles of librarians. What STEM is not? STEM is not just an acronym for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, but STEM has no universal definition. But STEM knowledge is used to understand how the world works and how to solve problems in the world. What is STEM? STEM is the integration of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And um, the former president of America, President Obama, was describing STEM. He says, STEM is more than just a school subject, but it is a critical way to understand and, and also to share accumulate STEM globally. STEM has evolved in the past few decades, initially there was low intake in STEM subjects. And when I say STEM subjects, I meant science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. There was in low intake. Then STEM was taught as a separate subject. And STEM graduates now work in non-STEM occupations. So, also there was high premium demand and rise wage for STEM careers. So there has been a lot of efforts and movements for STEM careers. And now we have integration of STEM because without integrating these four subjects, we will not get the benefits that uh, STEM is supposed to give us. So from time past, uh, there has been increasing levels of integration. Initially, it was taught as a disciplinary, uh, discipline. so disciplinary integration, where students just learn concepts and skills separately in each discipline. Later, we have what we call multidisciplinary level. Students learn concepts and skills separately in each discipline, but with a reference theme, a common theme in focus. Then we have interdisciplinary level. We have students learn concepts and skills from two or more disciplines that are tightly linked together. 
then we have transdisciplinary, where we understand the world. We apply STEM knowledge to solve the problem of the world. So what ex exactly are we talking about when we are saying STEM? What we are saying is the integrative STEM. These four subjects has been integrated in a way to solve the world problem. So we have high STEM. Let's look at STEM in Nigeria. In Nigeria, we have seen that STEM uh, has experienced just skeletal activities, workshops, seminars, and training. And the situation in Nigeria about STEM, STEM situation is that there's no integrative STEM education or curriculum in primary, secondary, and university levels. In secondary school, uh, STEM education, we just have science and mathematics, and they are taught separately. So we call it science and mathematics in silo, not integrated. So in our secondary school curriculum, you discover there's no technology, there's no engineering. And so this has resulted in cutting edge skills uh, missing. And so there's high rates of unemployment in Nigeria. So why do we need STEM? We need STEM to make all our pupils, our students career ready for all of them, to make them career ready, we need STEM. STEM also we have to develop a solid foundation for our children in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Why STEM? We are look, if we are looking for how to achieve our sustainable development goals, we need STEM. STEM is the solution to global threats like climate change, global health epidemics, like what we, the whole world experienced in the last two years, COVID-19. Then it is solution to increase income inequalities. This is the submission of UNESCO 2016. Why STEM? We need STEM to promote technology education. Why STEM? It is hands-on learning and real-world application that we need in this generation. And it is the only means to get lifelong skills, critical thinking, and the rest. In fact, the future of the economy depends on STEM. We need STEM for 21st century skills to be able to get foundational literacies, competencies, and character qualifications, we need STEM. So how do we integrate STEM in Nigeria, especially? In the developed countries, the, the move has been ongoing and that has been integrated STEM, STEM. But in Nigeria, how do we overcome uh, uh, teaching STEM as silo subjects. How can we integrate STEM to be able to achieve all that STEM has to, uh, to offer? So the way out is makerspace. What is makerspace? Makerspace is just a space that has been set aside, a creative do it yourself where people can gather, both young and old. To create, invent, also to learn. So at school, the goal of a makerspace is to make learning an experimentation one. These are makerspace, different type. We have makerspace in school, library, we have in 
uh, academic library. We have for teenage, teenagers, we have for adults, we have for young uh, children. For instance, let's look at makerspace in school library. So a school library makerspace is just an area dedicated to students' innovative and creative pursuits of a practical end in a school library. An area providing a safe place for students to take risks, experiment, and to learn through trying. Do it yourself. That is li uh, school library makerspace. Uh, and makerspace in libraries, these are few tips. It can, uh, a pupil or a student can, can do makerspace alone. It can be a work alone. We are creativity will take over. Such student will set a, cha a challenge and with cooperatively. So collaboration, collaboration, two, three, four, five pupils or students can gather together. But the most important thing is to link whatsoever they are making to learning. So the emphasis is on academic vocabulary. For instance, I want to give an example of using library space to integrate STEM. For instance, you want to teach mathematics at the same time, engineering together, these two subjects. So take for instance, we want to learn about geometry and engineering design. We just need few things. Let's say the topic is straw structure. So we need material like straw, the bendable straw. That straw we use to, to drink. So that's common straw. We need tape, salad tape. We need scissors. And in a, in a school library, make a space. You gather the pupils together and you want to teach them about different shapes in mathematics or shapes in engineering. So you ask the question, what shapes can we make from this straw? You may decide to, you, to do triangle, teach them about triangle, or you want to teach them square. Then what do you have to do to the straw to get them to fit into one another? You cut the straw and you shape it in a triangular way. You are teaching the pupils mathematics and engineering at the same time. And as they are looking at it, they are toy toiling with it. They are thinking with it. They are making with their own hands. And once they are doing that, engineering at the same time, it's so simple to do. People may be thinking, how do we make, how do we get things? Fund is always our problem in Nigeria. Anything we want to do, we have to say we have problem of fund. It is true. We have the problem of fund. But we can start from somewhere. We can start from simple, simple things. A straw in the market, I don't think straw will be more than 1,000 and scissors and say, I'm just giving this an example. So take the example of STEM through makerspace in a school library. What are these? These are few things needed. You need carton, cello tape, cotton wool, scissors, and few other things to create, to make, and to invent. As you're doing this, this, you are integrating science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And you discover I see STEM and makerspace as twins. If you look at makerspace, it is founded on constructivist philosophy. And if you look at STEM, integrated STEM education, it's a social constructivism. We are integration of STEM. We have the content, problem-centered learning, 
inquiry-based learning, design-based learning, cooperative learning. And on the other hand, discovery learning, as you are, is project-based and teacher serves as guide. When we integrate STEM, we will have good outcome. Let's look at a few ones. We will have the article, outcome is stimulation. It is teaching pupils, students, critical thinking is making them to think well. Creativity is display. We have pattern recognition. Pupils or students that you have brought together and you have made something in the maker space. For instance, what I've just demonstrated with straw, you know, is a pattern recognition. As that people or students are making that, they can recognize triangle at any place. So computational thinking, real world application, it's no more abstract. That's the only way we can teach our science with, without only just being abstract. You show them. So roles of librarians in these things we are talking about. Librarians are expected to educate teachers to create the awareness that yes, you can integrate STEM through library maker space. The librarians are to facilitate space and flexible environment. Yes, we may say we don't have space, but from your small library, you can create a corner and call it maker space corner. So librarians are to collaborate with teachers. They are to plan and help teachers. Librarians are to provide instructions to learners and help them in making. Is the area of librarians sitting down, expecting clients or library users has gone. This is to, to be uh, forthcoming, proactive. We show people what we can do. So in such a uh, library maker space, librarians are to participate in the making itself. Librarians are to provide tools and materials. Yes, money is always our problem, like I said before, but with little things we can start and the, by and by as we start and people begin to see, hey, we may have people that will now donate for us to carry it on when they see the good job we are doing. So in conclusion, I, I'm submitting that taking STEM into maker space we give us integrative STEM. And it, it is integrative STEM that will make us to achieve and benefit from STEM. STEM is there. STEM is what we need in this area, 21st century era. We need STEM to gain 21st century skills. And we need to prepare our peoples, our students, ready for the career they have chosen. We need to do it now so that in future, our graduates will not continue to be unemployed. They will be able to create because they have been stimulated from school through Makerspace. Thank you for listening. Thank, Thank you, you sir. very much, Ma. Yes, you, you still have about three minutes. Well presented, well articulated. You, um, <laughs> so much uh, nice presentation from your end. Thank you very much, Ma. You're welcome, sir. Uh, I, I hope this session will not be between me and you. <laughs> I'll be glad to check the participants. Uh, I we think are five. we are five now. Uh, yeah, when I do the interpretation of the five, myself, the host, and yourself. So, ah. look at the three, the attendees, too. I can't see them. I can't see anybody. 
Wow. And uh, even the host, I can't see them again to, for them to be able to tell me what is going on. But uh, uh, that notwithstanding, we have been able to do a, you, are, yes, you have done your part, which is very necessary. You have come, yes. you are presented. So the next thing I expect on you is to listen to questions and observation. And from my yes, own sir. end, I have about two or three questions. It Good, was well, articul well, well articulated, well presented. You did not rush it. I think you are a teacher. Can I say that? Are you a teacher? <laughs> well, yes. I lecture at the university, so I'm a teacher. <laughs> OK, that's beautiful. So um, number one, uh, when you started, you said low intake uh, in science, in STEM. I think yes, of recent, I think it should be of issue of gender. That is, we have okay. more of uh, girls into science now than men. It's not an uh, issue of maybe low intake. Am I right? God, I, what I've just observed, that's what I've read of recently, that even we have more of a gay child now into science. When you see uh, the result or total compilation of people that apply for JAM, you see that the gay child now more prominent than even yes, boys. Sir. So uh, I have an issue there. Maybe okay. uh, 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 low intake. That, 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 that where I'm having the issue. That's number one. Number yes, two, sir. but toward the end, I have this one, but toward the end, you have been able to link up. I'm looking at it. You do have so much on step. And I told much love. So yes, I was sir. like, uh, where the library issue? Where the library issue? <laughs> <laughs> because before your presentation, I have read something on library space. Somebody, I have okay. one book that I was I'm reading and it discussed about that precision. And my colleague that presented today, before this session, Dr. Dulade also mentioned something had to do with a uh, uh, library space, which uh, Unilag has done very, very well. That is making use of space in the library. So when you now link it so well with school library, my question now is, how do we now look at library space in academic library, which is the opium of librarianship? Because that is where librarianship practice is well, you know, details. When you compare with a school library, such a library, because that's where we have anything about librarianship, is well practiced. So how do we, are you saying we should create library space for, you know, we are within the university, they have international school, they have a school, uh, they also have town school. Are you saying now within the academic library, you should also create a space for them, even though they will have their own library. So I, I mean, in between, maybe you need to explain. Library space, are we targeting only the school library or that of the academic library just coming up? Thank you very made, much, I hope, sir. I hope my, my questions make sense. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. I really like those uh, questions. And I've seen one other one that has been typed. Okay. I've noted it. Okay. Let me start with the low intake. Sir, yes, there has, there has been improvement in the intake. Okay. But if you compare, even up to today, sir, if you compare the look at their admission and you compare the intake in arts in education compare it with science and technology you still discover that arts education social sciences they have upper hand they are more than science related discipline so and your observation that even the, the low intake, those ones, the improvement we have seen, we have seen improvement majorly on uh, female, like you noted. We have more girls, child, going for science these days. You are correct. But the compare social sciences, arts, and education, you discover that the number there outweigh the science and technology. That's all I have to say on that. On academic libraries, sir, every library ought to have maker space. Even public library, school library, academic library, each of these library supposed to have a maker space, a place designated for making. I just use school library as an example. We have 
makerspace in the academic libraries too. If you see one of my slides, I put it there. I put the school library makerspace. I put a uh, makerspace even for adults, for you and I, sir, in developed countries. They have big makerspace for adults. Not only the students, but my paper does um, concentrate instead or focused on school library, academic library, public library to their maker spaces there. So it's not only school library. If we want to do it as we ought to do it well, we should have a space in academic life. we are making, inventing, tinkering will take place there, sir. Then I saw another question that okay. uh, we like, we make a space not disturb the tranquility of library. Ah, gone are those days that library is a serene environment. Library has evolved these days. In the library today, we have a um, restaurant in the library. In the library today, we have, if we go to developed countries, we are the uh, embrace librarianship. We are the value in library and information science. You discover in, in the library, there are few places designated for you alone. You want to read alone, you don't want noise. Library now accommodate noise because there are spaces in the library which is meant for group discussion, group assignments, yeah. project uh, place. So the same thing will happen if we have a space where we label maker space. You know you are going to that place to make. You are not going to that place to read and to cram. So I've been to library where there are places you can take a snap, you can sleep. It will look strange. They provided simple, I mean, this is uh, the one you have a uh, bed, bedding, where you can relax 30 minutes and go back to go and read. So the library has involved. It's no more siren place. So we can have a place for whatever you want. In fact, in the libraries today, there are spaces they have designated as, um, uh, you know, how, how, how do I put it? We have they keep children. Their parents are working. They have not closed in the office. They will just drop their children there. And it is library. So a space there is de designated for, for taking care of children. So such place, there's nothing you can do. Children will scream, they will cry, they will play, toy library. So I hope I've been able to do justice to the three. Okay, there's another one. We are expecting the remaining preset. Okay. No, 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 I'm the one. Yes, yes. Uh, thank <laughs> you very right, much, uh, Dr. Bami Gola. I can confidently call you now. I can see your, your name Bami and everything. Gola. Yeah, yes. Bami Gola. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah, yes, yeah. What, what, what you have just said, totally, uh, just like that. Gone are the day when you get to live with them, they'll be putting heart in the mouth. Mm. Uh, mm. No, no. Yes. No, no, no. There are, there are tea cafe, there are rubber cafe, there are good, just like yes, you said. I think uh, about two years yes, ago, sir. I wrote a paper like on that too. That's why I'm so okay. interested in the angle of which mm -hmm. your uh, library space is going. And I, I so much, and in, in the University of Lego, I'm trying to be model. I think that mm -hmm. all our spaces will be making use of. We could have what we call space kiosk now, where we monitor yeah. tablet. Tablet. Yeah. Where exactly. are students now, apart from OPAC now, they can make use of those tablet to assess uh, information and then we have some cubicle you fact, know within the library my, we have to there where they are waiting for uh, lecture my all those that normally don't outside they are now within the yes. the library where my, they can relax my, ku, my kudos kudos to professor yetunde be beautiful beautiful <laughs> but you might be listening now <laughs> you might be listening also be watching the, this session the university
Yes. <laughs> Liberia. Yes, yes. All the workers, you are doing a good job. Thank you very much, ma. Thank you very much, ma. Thank so, you, yeah, I just put on the notice now. I don't know. I, I don't like this. I, I, I think I'm unlucky this afternoon for my people not to have come. Uh, I, 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 I'm not happy at all. But you have made the OT to be beautiful. We can go on and not be discussing. Maybe that's why I put that notice. If they are around, if they can see that notice, they can join us. Uh, thank you for your presentation. Uh, and I pray that this paper you can still go further. You can still make it temporary cool, uh, that you can work on it, and then it can be published. I, I think you can do thank something you, like that. Yeah. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank ma. you, sir. You are welcome. You're welcome, yes. sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Well done, sir. Going. I asked a question on the chat box. Okay. Okay. Uh, doctor, there's another yes, question sir. on this. Yes. Okay. Let me check it, sir. Okay. Do, Do you, you think, think uh, yeah. creating makerspace in the library may be limiting? I don't understand. Maybe limiting how? Oh, will okay. it not be better to have this specialized library where children will be initiated to STEM from early age? Yeah, um, what I said is this, every library needs maker space, not only for children, but it's better we start from school library. You know, school library serves primary, I mean, pre-primary, primary and secondary school levels. But in actual sense, all the arms of libraries or types of libraries supposed to have maker space. He's not limiting the library in any way, but it's adding value to the library. That's the way I see it. In developed countries, if you see the maker space in public libraries, you'll be amazed, public libraries. So my submission is that, yes, maker space in the primary and secondary school is fine. But all the levels, all the types of library should have maker space. Because if an adult 40, 50 years old is interested in making, and like we have it happening in develop, developed country, such adults will not be able to go to school library where people are. And the kind of making such adults will be doing it will be above the primary people. So the public library will take care of such. And if you are in academic environment, whatever is your age, if there is a maker space in the university library, in the, sorry, in the university library, in the polytechnic library, in the college of education library, such adults can go there to make and invent things. So all types of the library, should have maker space. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Bamigola. Uh, that's a very yes, nice Bamigola. Bamigola, yeah. Bamigola, Bamigola, you are correct. Yes, Bamigola. Okay. Then there's another one. Can library space not be more integrative or extend beyond STEM? We now have STEAM, including art, a possibility of having a visual learning process for users from humanities. Let's say visiting the library to watching documentary about the Nigerian civil war. How possible is this? Yes, it's possible. In fact, the in the recent uh, times, this is what is ongoing now. The developed country, they have passed through even the STEM. So the, the arts is inclusive now. So you are right. It is possible. Thank you. Well done, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank, thank I think you, maybe sir. We'll be seeing more questions to keep on. I'm, I'm trying to get across again, putting the names of the remaining uh, presenter so that the host can, maybe they can call them, they have their numbers. So I'm trying my best. Normally, when we a conference like All right, this, sir. yes, we should put to, to have given reason where they are not turning up. I'll just send the name yes. to the host. Maybe they can okay. call them. Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, so sir. we can be going on and on on libraries, please. Uh, yes, issue of STEM, science, 
technology, engineering, and uh, mathematics. I think it's a, it's a it's a later phenomenon when it come to uh, like you rightly said, encouraging you know our children just to be focused and then to be well directed without a chrome. You know, when you put that up from people will be willing, what is STEM? You know, what is STEM? Then we, 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 we don't like the various example you have given using a uh, straw. Can you imagine? When I was seeing that straw, I can see different shapes. I, I was so amazed. So can you give us more details about STEM in the in the in the research of STEM? How can we encourage the younger ones to focus more on science? Uh, it's not as if the library art also are not important, but uh, uh, by now. We are going to about 60 something years after independence, which are both to have been inclined more to fourth industrial revolution. Most of what we are doing now, we cannot invent the way. Let's produce our own. Can we give us more inroad into what STEM? How can we encourage the younger ones? Yes, sir. Uh, you have said well, the issue is with our curriculum. If you discover uh, the, uh, the way we impart knowledge in this part of the world, we believe in cramming. Mm. So we will just cram and pour it down. And that's why it's even difficult to see now. Some of us that have passed through primary and secondary school level, if we say, okay, come and do something in science or mathematics, we will run away. Is the way they have been impacting knowledge in this part of the world. And it's making children to run away. You discover that if, sir, when we are secondary school, when they say mathematics, all of us want to run away. Most yes, of us yes. want to run away from science. Yes, and, right. it's not that, and, and it's not that all these subjects are not doable, if, in quote, if mm. there's anything like that. Mm. It's not that we cannot do it, but the way they impart knowledge in this part of the world has made us to fear some subjects more than the other ones. Mm. The way they teach is, is so abstract. So most secondary school in Nigeria, how many of them have good laboratory? Mm. So these are issues that we need to really focus. So, if schools have good laboratory, if schools have good library, and this makerspace we are talking about, if we have it, many pupils, many students will be motivated to go into science. I went to my children's school uh, to look at them one day, and I discovered that they were teaching them mathematics and they gave them this um, um, round paper disposable and they were cutting primary school purpose. They were mm. cutting. So mm. we were looking at them and we discover what were they teaching them? They were teaching them shapes. And they were teaching them fractions, rather mm. fractions, half, whole, the whole, half, quarter. Three, three what quarter. they did in their school, they were cutting. Yeah, mm. they were cutting it, sir. You know, uh, children that have been taught through that, and some other children were taught half is uh, 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 half of the half of the whole. But you know, because these children use their hand to cut this the, the uh, half disposable and the, the cutter into half, yes. but they will remember it. Of course, it it was not it was not abstract at all. At all, mm. and and I discovered that when they get home, they want to make. They will ask you, "I want scissors." We are saying, "Oh, sharp objects! Don't play with it." They said, mm. "No." The small, small one, we can use it. We have been taught in our school how to do it. Maybe that is but why when we were pass, growing up. Maybe that's why I did not pass mathematics. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, man. <laughs> so I just use that as, as an example. So yes, that is what is 
actually happening to us in mm -hmm. this part of the, our own level. Mm -hmm. If you are able to encourage our children that come, you can do it. So, so, so person did it. Those people doing it, they don't have two heads. Mm -hmm. It's only one head. You can do it. Exactly. Try exactly. it. Try exactly. it. Mm -hmm. But in such, a thing, in such a thing, we will spend money. We will spend mm -hmm. money. Yeah. I remember somebody was sharing his life uh, when he was a younger person with me, a man. And he said, right from primary school, he will look for radio. He will open the radio. That type of radio they put, they have, they used to hang on the wall. How, yeah. how do they call it? I've forgotten. A division. So, Red yeah, division, Red division, thank you, sir. Yeah. yeah. He said he went up, brought it down, and scatter it. He pieces it, sir. Do you mm. believe that person is an engineer today? My God. Is an engineer. Mm. Because the threat has been in him right from childhood. Mm. And because the father was educated, he was a teacher, he bought him tools, carpentry tools, every, you know, and was then making things. At tender age, hmm. so it's the, the, we should encourage our children. We should be ready to spend on them. We should not be expecting too much from our government. Yeah, yeah. If hmm. we do so, we won't see anything. We should not yeah. deceive ourselves. Thank but you. we should remember that these children they are ours first before the future, they are and the future uh, belong to them. Uh, citizens yeah. of Nigeria. Yes. Yeah, exactly, sir. Mm. Exactly. Sir. Mm. So individual parents to encourage the children and should make them all these things we are learning from here and there. We should practice it at home. We should buy them. You know, I presented a paper some, okay, I think it was like last year, connected learning. Mm. Connected learning is similar to makerspace. Mm. You will organize people what are their interests? They are doing it abroad. Mm. What mm. are their interests? And mm. you will encourage them and I will train them. Some will mm. in a library during holiday. And mm. such as, you know, there's interest, interest in librarianship. Mm. And during the only day when they come to the library in abroad, they use them. They will say, oh yeah, do this, do this, do this. Before you know it, such students will grow up to love librarianship. Librarianship. Yes. So mm. a lot is on our hands as parents mm -hmm. and as library professional to be proactive okay. with our children in our community, even in places where we are working, that will help us a lot. Thank you very much, sir, for the opportunity, sir. Okay, I, I'm still going to engage you um, on library yes. space. Um, okay. Now, I did this concept now begin to expand. Because like I told you, I've, uh, I'm, I'm just reading a paper now, presented by somebody okay. in a uh, book of chapters. Now, okay. in terms of constructing our library now, the architectural yes, design, sir. are we considering now? Because those old libraries that have been there, it might be difficult to, for them to now begin to create shape. In terms of designing, because you find out now what they want to, they might not even uh, take the librarianship along. You know, the way it works in Nigeria. Maybe they yes. just call their friend, oh yeah, give us a design. Uh, they will have designed it before, they will now call the librarian to come and see. Yes, Maybe sir. at the inception, if the librarian may not be part of the committee, Yes, sir. I remember our new library that is we, we, we're about to finish now. At the inception, in fact, the first of us got to, to, to go to online to go and solve for very okay. little okay. building okay. In, in, the, in the world, to go and look for very kind of building in the world. That means they consider us. If we're not at higher the level, then I was just library assistant to then. But now, that building now, I think a couple of years, they will finish it. Now, it does it happen in other places where now you realize that building a library now is not the kind of confined library that will look like a storeroom, just the, uh, the reading area, uh, all the major, you know, traditional, you know, space that we have. I think 
by now, this that balance will be getting momentum into the latest. So that these are the way we can entice users to come more into the library. Is that way we, if, if users now see that uh, it's a play they can relax, we know that they are not to make noise per se, but the cost of noise we are talking about now, it's going to be instructional noise, not to be shouting. So my question now, Ma, as we are just doing before, are we considering that now for our for for for, for the so-called, you know, uh the principal officers when they want to give us a new library to consider library space and let the librarian be part of the committee so that we have a say in the design so that by the time the library is put down all this one we're talking about library space will be there it's a question of now put in the infrastructure there maybe you can share your view ma'am yeah. yes sir thank you very much sir a lot is light on our university librarians okay thank god they are part of management Okay. So I expect them to push such thing. In the past, that's what they are doing. But for our ULs, if they are able to put their feet down, they are a member of the council. So when they are discussing building of library, of course, UL must be there and one other librarian. Uh, but if they don't, I'm sure they will allow them to give an input. But it's left for our UL. If the UL are not okay, it will be difficult for other librarians that are. But as we are now, sir, we don't need to wait until we have new building, like I said before. Yes. In uh, developed countries, they may have a whole hall, a whole room, but in our own little way, we can have a corner. Maybe we partition a room, even if it's 10 by 12 room that we are given, we can manage it to start with as our maker space. Okay, ma. Yeah, the academic library uh, library is even better, sir. You know, most schools, Secondary schools in Nigeria, they don't even have library. Hmm. What we can call library. Most of them, they have a store where they put books. Most of the time, they put books in the uh, principal's room. Hmm. And they don't have librarians, school hmm. librarians. They don't have. Hmm. They will make English teacher to be in charge of library. So if they will want to even do good, they will say, okay, if you need book, go and meet the English teacher. Most of the time, they are, what they call library is not accessible. It's not open yeah. for students to yeah. use. Mm. But in academic library, it's far, far better. I think that's what the most library in Nigeria that is functioning. Okay. Mm. I wouldn't know of public library per se, but I know academic library to an extent is functioning okay. in Nigeria. So our university librarians are the ones that will help us okay. to push their way, to be able to give input okay. when they are designing libraries in our universities. Okay. Thank you, sir. I don't want to stretch you for that, so that I will not because we don't have friends, then I will stretch you beyond. <laughs> <laughs> I think me and you, we've actually, I hold this thing to, we, to some level. Yes. And I, I'm quite to <laughs> learn a lot from you, man. Uh, Thank you. Anytime I come to. <coughs> if I don't. Sorry, sir. <coughs> I, I will surely look for you, man. I think we can. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay, we can sir. work together. Sorry, sir. Yeah, okay, we can sir. work together on that library space and, and okay, expand it more. Sir. Yes. You can work okay. on that. I was. Work. Yes, sir. I was trying this afternoon to send my slides <coughs> to you. But the, okay. your email was not going. I did twice. It failed. Uh, okay, you can let uh, me tell you. Uh, yeah, at that time I was no I'm the kind of a person. I my my I was trying to get ready for this uh, program. Try to log in, you okay. know, download the program so that at a glance I can click. Okay. I think between that my password was okay. giving me problem. That's what happened. That's what happened. Okay. Okay. So I, I will give okay. you my email now. Just uh, okay, uh, sir. Oh, on our day. Sir? Now let me let me give you the easier one. Keojo, 
J Ojo, Loa Kes. Okay. J Ojo. J Ojo, Loa Kes. Yeah, at Unilag. Okay. At Unilag. Uni yeah, dot edu. Okay. Dot NG. Okay. Everybody knows. Uh -huh. Dot edu, dot NG. Okay. J, J Ojo, J Ojo. At Unilag. Yes. Unilag. Uh, dot edu, dot edu. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. You are welcome, ma'am. So in the yes, absence of any further any further question, I'm trying to let them realize that uh we don't expect it, we are not seeing anybody. So let me put it that. But yes, uh, if you want to, if you want to excuse, you can do that. All right, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, sir. You are welcome. I'm grateful. Yeah, very, very grateful. I'm also grateful to you. Thank you, ma'am.